Uh, speaking of deals, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Diener is back on the program from GetAroom.com. Hello. Hello, Bob. Welcome to Travel Show Live. It's nice to have you here, sir. Well, thank you. It's uh, great to be with you. And there's good news out there for travelers because there are some great deals out there. You know, that's what I like to hear, that there are deals to be had. Let's get to them. Thank heavens. How well, do we you know, find these the, deals? Probably the best bargain destination right now is Las Vegas. Yeah. You know, it's not quite as busy as the other cities because a lot of shows were canceled. And the deals are just amazing on the Strip. For example, you've cut a deal with the Sahara Hotel on the Strip. Mm -hmm. And on most nights midweek right now, 70 bucks a night at really? the Sahara on the Strip. And the Orleans Hotel, which is right by the Strip. It's got uh, a great Cajun cooking and you know, it's got the whole Marty, uh, the whole Marty Gras theme of the hotel. Yeah. $60 on most nights midweek. And you know, we tell people going to Vegas, if you stay... Sunday through Thursday, the rates are going to be a lot less. So that's what we're showing is probably the best bargain destination. And, and number two is Miami Beach. If you want to go down the South Beach, mm -hmm. the deals are incredible down there. We oh. just lowered the price at the Shelley Hotel. It's a first-class hotel on South Beach. Yeah. It's going to be hard to believe this rate. As low as $35 a night on a lot of nights right now. Really? Why? Why is that? Why, are these, why do these rates exist? They're so incredible. Well, you know, the hotels want to keep, uh, they want to keep their rooms full. And if they're not that busy, they're willing to lower the rates as long as they can pay for the maid service to clean the room. They want people in there because once people are in there, they'll come again. So they spend money on, uh, you know, they buy movies, they make phone calls, faxes, they eat in the restaurants. So as long as they fill these rooms up with people, you know, in Vegas, of course, they go in the casino. They make a lot of money in the casino. But they can fill these rooms up. It's still good for them is to get all the incidental revenue. It's not good to have the hotel empty. Empty. So they're offering you just these amazing deals. Orlando, another uh, incredible bargain destination. You can stay at great hotels like the Cerro Lago. You know, last year, uh, a year ago, this time was about $120, $130 a night. $40 a night. On that's Gator really, .com. And that's really the incredible. Celebrate the Radisson Celebration Hotel. Great hotel, you know, right next to Disney. Normally about $200 a night. We've got it on uh, most nights through December, $62 a night. Wow. So Orlando, Let Miami Beach, South Beach, Vegas, those are three probably the best bargain destinations in the country. And New Orleans. I shouldn't forget New Orleans. Yeah, New Or I love New Orleans. It's you and I have had place. our New Orleans conversations. I love going down there. Now, uh, on that very note, let's talk about expanding past our brands a little bit because that expands past our comfort zone. Some people out there saying, you know what, uh, I only stay in a Marriott or a Hyatt or a Hilton or a, or whatever because I know what I'm going to get when I'm there. But the reality is, there's plenty of other properties out there. They just might not know that staying at you know, as you said, the Shelley is just as, you know, it's going to be a great stay as it would be the, you know, the Four Seasons or whatever. Well, that's right. And, you know, the brands can charge more because people know, uh, people know the name. And, of course, they do a lot of, you know, national advertising. But some of the best deals out there are in these independent boutique hotels that most people have never heard of. And that's, that's my job. And I go around the country. I'm the guy with this terrible job of traveling around the country. <laughs> Staying at different hotels every You know, some nights I stay at two hotels, I check into two places, and I go back and forth. So I you don't really do that. Do you really do that? I, I, I really didn't. In fact, one time I checked into four hotels on one night. It drove my wife absolutely crazy. No, you checked into four hotels I with your into wife? Four hotels. I wanted to check them all out. We spent an hour in one, an hour in the other one. We pick <laughs> up the phone, we try the room service, we order, a, and then we tell them we forgot our uh, toothbrush. Then we call back, we say, we forgot the toothpaste. We just want to see how, how the room service is and how the hotel is. Wow. And the only way to really do it is to stay in the hotels. So I'll go to a city like San Francisco, and I'll, you know, if I'm there three nights, I could be in 10 to 12 hotels, actually uh, staying on the beds and spending some time in the rooms. But, but so I find these uh, you know, incredible deals on hotels and on these independent boutique hotels. And when we find ones that are great hotels and that meet the quality standards, we'll put them on the site. We rate them. We have two ratings. One is a quality rating, yeah. which we do independently. So they'll tell them they say it's four stars, and we say it's three stars. But we do the independent rating. We look at what the hotel says. We look at AAA. We look at mobile, but we make our own decision. And then we also give a guest satisfaction rating. And what we do is we compile all of the customer comments on various sites on the web, such as AOL, Yahoo, TripAdvisor, and other ones, and we give an average customer rating. So if you got a hotel, you know, maybe a two-star hotel for $20, and it's got a four or five out of five consumer rating, Mm -hmm. That's probably a great hotel. Mm -hmm. 
So, and these independent boutique hotels are just tend to be some of the best bargains that are out there. You know, in a city like, say, Chicago. Yeah. I mean, we've got the Whitehall Hotel now, a beautiful boutique hotel, four stars, a deluxe hotel. Now, if you stayed at a major brand hotel, it'd be about right now. It's peak season. A lot of shows going to be about three or four hundred dollars a night. We've got it on most nights for about a hundred and twenty dollars a night. Wow. For uh, a great boutique hotel, right in Chicago. You know, another great city, of course. Um, if you're headed to, uh, you know, if you're headed to uh, Boston, a lot of great independent hotels in Boston, such as the Colonnade. One of my favorites. Yeah, oh, I love, it's right near the Commons. I love the last time we st we just uh, released new videos out in Boston. We stayed at the Colonnade when we were there. It's a great hotel. I mean, you know, it's four star. It's well located. It's near the Commons. So we've got it. They gave us a deal, twenty percent off their rooms, all through the end of the year. You've got to book it over the next couple of days. But if you're heading to Boston, great hotel. And we've got it on a lot of nights. Uh, you know, right around two hundred or less. Sometimes even one hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty bucks a night. Uh, but it's twenty percent off their. Uh, their regular internet rate, so that's a good one. And in San Francisco, San Francisco is a city that has a lot of these independent boutique hotels. Mm -hmm. We've got the Cathedral Hill. It's very close to Union Square. It's, uh, it's about ninety dollars a night on most nights. Most hotels there are running two to three hundred dollars a night. And probably the best bargain right now is the Adante Hotel. We've got it on GetAroom.com, sixty-four dollars a night for a great little uh, charming boutique. Hotel. All right, before we go, because I've got like 30 seconds left, and I, I love this. is one of my favorite things that you guys do. Tell me about the unpublished rate that we can get to if we call. Okay, now we can't talk about this one too loud, because this is a secret system. I don't. We'll but whisper. hotels will give us lower rates than what they'll put even on their own site or any site on the web. What they do is they say you have to book it in the call center. You've got, you can look at the hotels on the web, call the call center, say you want the unpublished rates, hotels that participate. It can be... Typically 10 to 25 percent less, but as much as 50 percent less. They'll tell you you can see the rate online, and you know it's going to be less. You've got to prepay it and book it, uh, but you can save uh, as much as 50 percent off just by picking up the phone. Oh wow, that's a good. One. I, I think that's a great tip. I didn't. I think. Did you have a you question for Bob? Well, I just want to say right before we let case. Bob go that if, if, so if we were forced to make a list today the of the better top 10 the great Americans, yeah. Bob would be on that list. Bob would be on the list Bob of great Americans. On that list, <laughs> no question. I like people saving money. I it's true, I mean, and we, we love to help. Thank you, Bob, very much. Great. All right, great being on with you. Have a great day out there. All right, very good. It's uh, getaroom.com. Get a room, get value. What's the what's the, no I, problem makes there. sense to me? Yeah. Uh, we're going to wrap up the program today with a, a real celebrity, the okay. great. Curtis Sliwa, Curtis Sliwa, the founder Curtis. of the Guardian Angels, is, is going to be on the program when we return next on Travel Show Live. Stay with us.